Hey everybody, so today we're here to introduce the new AGI GitHub page. So um, we have been building this for a while, but uh, we are introducing both the SDK code examples and some code examples for our other products. Um, the first iteration here, and what I'm going to go over, is the SDK code examples. So if you come to github.com slash analytical graphics slash SDK code examples, you'll end up at this page where you'll see the SDK logo down here. And what this is, is we have a variety of featured examples. So we have ones varying from SDK automation to SDK engine um, applications, uh, some UI plugins, and then some extensible plugins as well. So if you look up here at the actual folder structure, we'll dive into SDK automation really quick. So if you go in there, um, you'll then see a variety of different languages that we can do things in. So here we're going to have C Sharp, HTML, MATLAB, Python, and VB script. If you come to the Python one, you're going to then notice you're going to have uh, folders based off of what those code samples actually cover. So um, there's one here for analyzer plots that once you get out some data from analyzer and you want to go use pandas in Python or something to actually plot all of this data. There's a constellation wizard as well. And so if you go into the constellation wizard, you're going to see some of these actually have a pretty robust readme as well. So this goes over all of the different requirements and the file overview. It gives you some quick screen snaps of what running the application looks like and the different pieces and parts of it. And then the constellation wizard notebook here um, at the bottom shows what it actually looks like when it's in a uh, Jupyter notebook. So these are continually being built up, and this is not all that will be here. We're going to continue to add to this over time, and um, we're welcoming issues and pull requests as well. If you find something that is wrong or if you find that something doesn't run properly with SDK 12 now that we have released that as well, um, let us know, and then we'll go try to fix this stuff and update it. So going back a little bit again, um, we'll go uh, look around some of the other folder structure here just to see what things look like. So... We also have SDK engine applications here um, that is currently empty, as you see, but we're going to start putting things in here and building on that. The extension plugins uh, here, which you'll see a couple for access constraints. We only have C-sharp ones in there right now, um, some post-processing scripts, and then some scalar uh, plugins as well. And then the last folder here is the SDK UI plugins. Um, and UI plugins, you're probably only ever going to see C-sharp here, um, maybe a couple of Java UI plugins later on. But you can come in here and then go through the different UI plugins that exist. Um, these should all typically also be named with the uh, version that they were built for. So you'll find some in here for older versions like SDK 10 and 11. And then if we have multiple builds, we'll try to keep those in there as well. So... Now that we've seen this, um, for anybody who isn't familiar with GitHub, uh, there's a couple of different ways to actually pull all of these down so that they can be utilized. Um, so one, if you just want to pull down what's currently there, um, you don't really, you're not worried about keeping it in sync or anything like that, you can click this down arrow here and just click download zip. Um, so if you download the zip, it will zip all of this stuff together and then give it to you. Um, so that you will have all of these different code examples. You can even uh, take this on the high side then if you need to do something like that as well. Um, but if you are familiar with GitHub and you have Git installed, you can always go and clone this repo as well. Um, and then you'll be able to keep up to date with any new things that we add, any uh, things that we fix, kind of anything along that. So let's quickly go over one of these examples. I'll just go pull one up that I have. Um, so I've already cloned this repository to my personal uh, file system. So if I come in here, um, you'll see that I have SDK automation and then Python. So I'm going down that same folder structure. I'm going to go to the SDK object model folder here. And then I have this SDK object model tutorial complete. Um, and uh, .ipymb is for the uh, Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to come into that actual notebook here. And then you'll see there's uh, code here that uh, explains what's kind of happening. Um, there's a bunch of comments through it. And then we're going to go through some different imports here. So I'm going to import these and then quickly start up the SDK 11 application. And you'll see that all of these should work out of the box. Um, this one's built for SDK 11. Um, 
to switch to SDK 12, the new, uh, you'll just have to simply switch the number from 11 to 12 as well. Um, I'm going to run through a couple more lines here of just creating the scenario and then resizing a couple of things. So now that that is run, I'm going to go and pull up the actual SDK application here. And you'll see that it started up as SDK Python tutorial. That's a quick overview of our GitHub page. Um, I did want to address a couple of things here really quick. Um, so we are looking to uh, utilize this for other products as well. Um, we already have one stood up for SDK components. Um, and this currently has the examples that are also shipped with SDK components, but these are being updated for every release. Um, so you'll find uh, both the .NET and Java examples here um, with uh, pretty robust uh, readmes and descriptions to actually show you how they run and what you need to do to get them to run. Later, we are moving to also uh, not ignore all of our ODTK users and put up uh, some ODTK code examples as well. And then finally, um, if you aren't familiar with GitHub, you want to become more familiar and you want to utilize this stuff, we put some links down in the description um, so that you can go and find uh, some good resources to get started with this. And that's all.